Audi RS6 versus Mercedes AMG E63S versus BMW M5 Competition versus Porsche Panamera E Hybrid Turbo Fort Turismo, blah, 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 long name. Can't remember it. What's gonna happen? They're so closely matched. So let me give you the stats. This RS6 has a four litre twin turbo V8, 600 horsepower, 800 Newton meters of torque. It's got an eight speed automatic gearbox, all wheel drive, and it weighs just under 2.1 tons. The Mercedes, it has a four litre twin turbo V8, 612 horsepower, 850 Newton meters of torque, a nine speed automatic gearbox, four wheel drive, and it weighs just under 2.1 tons. Next is the BMW M5 Competition, and it has a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 with 625 horsepower, 750 Newton meters of torque, it has an eight speed automatic gearbox, four wheel drive, and it weighs under two tons. Finally, there's the Porsche long name thingy. It has a four litre twin turbo V8 combined with an electric motor. So together it produces 680 horsepower, 850 Newton meters of torque. It's got all wheel drive, an eight speed automatic gearbox, but it's rather heavy. It weighs 2.4 tons. Also, it's quite expensive. So that car starts around 140,000 pounds, whereas the and other the Porsche around. are estate cars and the BMW, it's a saloon because for some reason they don't do an estate version of the M5, wish they would. Another thing that's different with these cars is the noise they make. Yes, they've all got V8 engines, but they all do have a slightly different sound to them. So let's see which is the best sounding of the cars. Here's the Audi. Oh. It has a soft limiter. So it doesn't sound so great when you're just revving it. Let's see what the Mercedes is like. Let's have a listen to the BMW. Well, that's all right. Finally then, gone to the Porsche. So far away, I can't actually hear it from here. You're gonna to have to make the decision. So click on the pop-out banner up there to vote which you think sounded the best. Now, before we race, it's only fair to warm these cars' tires up. So I'm actually gonna do it myself. I'm gonna jump from car to car to see which is the most fun to warm the tires up in. I'm gonna start with this Audi. Oh, we're doing all right here. Big circles. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I got a little bit too carried away there. Hiya, <laughs> you're right. Way. That's going way better than I imagined. I was not expecting this. I can feel the motors like tugging away. It's been going crazy, but it will go sideways. Okay, back in the RS6. Don't let me down. I gave it the Porsche for you. Three. Off the line, so good there. Said the BMW. Come on, this is close. BMW's edging it. Look at that Bimmer go. I think the Porsche might have me. Can I beat the mug? Whoa, I don't know if I beat the Mercedes. He was gaining on me. I got a much better launch than him. That BMW just shot off the line. I think I came third. I think the Mercedes was maybe sleeping a bit on the line, didn't get the best start. Sometimes you can get a delay on a launch control when you lift off the brake. So then what exactly happened? Well, the BMW did the standing quarter mile in 11.1 seconds. The Porsche took 11.2 seconds and the Mercedes and the Audi both took 11.3 seconds.